The name that reverberates throughout the halls of luxury and timekeeping is Rolex. Known for its accuracy and distinction, Rolex has evolved beyond simple use to become a timeless status symbol. The brand embodies luxury timepieces, appealing to both enthusiasts and casual consumers due to its inventive attitude and constant dedication to quality. Find out how Rolex cemented its position as the unchallenged ruler of high-end watches. Notoriety Without a doubt, the most well-known luxury watch brand in the world is Rolex. Even if you've never heard of Patek Philip, Breitling, or Omega, you've heard of it. There are essentially two types of Rolex customers those with extensive knowledge and those with limited knowledge. Because of its exceptional quality, Rolex is purchased by enthusiasts. They could prefer having the best all-around watch for everyday use over having incredibly intricate, well-crafted timepieces. Other Rolex clients merely know that Rolex is the greatest. They don't know anything about watches. This is the main driving force behind their behavior. If you're going to wear a watch, it must be a Rolex. This is a great compliment for the manufacturer since it shows that they are doing something right if even someone who isn't very knowledgeable about watches thinks that one particular brand is the best. Quality of the product Over the many years that it has been in business, Rolex's incredibly high product quality has been the foundation of its success. In addition to being strong, durable, and dependable, Rolex watches display the time precisely. With an estimated yearly production of almost three quarters of a million pieces, maintaining consistently high quality is an art in and of itself. Additionally, Rolex benefits from leaving out odd complexities. It lacks minute repeaters, perpetual calendars, tourbillons, and even movements with an alarm, power reserve indicator, or huge date display. The business focuses on its strengths and continuously enhances the details. This holds for both the case and the movements. None of its rivals, not even other luxury manufacturers with far more costly models, have a spinning bezel that ratchets as neatly and smoothly as the Submariner or GMT Master High. Everything a watch requires. The brand's early introduction of new features that made the watch suitable for daily wear is what gives the Rolex moniker its significance. Hans Wilsdorf, the creator of Rolex, submitted a wristwatch movement for chronometer certification in 1914 to the esteemed Q. Teddington Observatory. The Swiss Institute TOSC's chronometer test is now the industry standard for internal mechanical Rolex calibers. The first water-resistant wristwatch was released in 1927, and a few years later, an automatic winding mechanism was added because a watch shouldn't require daily crown pulling to maintain its water resistance. The product name Oyster Perpetual, which adorns almost every Rolex, reflects these two characteristics. The first watch to have all three features, automatic winding, water-resistant case, and chronometer certificate, was the Datejust, which debuted in 1945. It has all the necessities, including its namesake date window. Design and Acknowledgement The design of a watch determines whether it can be worn every day. A Rolex's circular design adds to its exceptional readability and water resistance. Incorporate a Cyclox date magnifier another creation by Hans Wilsdorf, and a center sweep seconds hand. Collections that already exist are preserved and enhanced over time. Percy, a Rolex expert, supports this. The creator of the German language websites Luxify and RLX Forum, Christian Scholder. Over the years, only extremely subtle changes to each model collection's signature design have led to a high level of awareness. Even case sizes are changed very gradually and there are no abrupt changes or jumps in design. A Datejust or Submariner now looks a lot like previous models because common design elements like the Oyster Bracelet, Mercedes Hands, Cyclops Magnifier, and Groove Bezel are present in many different variants and have hardly changed. This is why identifying a Rolex from a distance is usually simple. This is what watch expert Gisbert L. Brunner refers to as the 10-meter rule, and not only experts are aware of it. Value Stability when you purchase an automobile, its worth is cut in half. Except for Rolex, this fact is less true for watches. Although this is more difficult for gold oyster models and the sophisticated gold Cellini watches, it is nevertheless feasible to get slightly less, or perhaps more, than the original purchase price for the highly sought-after sports models in stainless steel. Regardless of whether a buyer is purchasing the watch for this specific reason or another, this is an alluring feature. Knowing that you've made the right choice is comforting. Prices at Auction 
the high prices that older Rolex watches consistently get at auction play a significant role in the price stability of used but still relatively new timepieces. The next most fashionable brand after Patek Philip is Rolex. Over the past few decades, there have been thousands of successful auctions involving Rolex watches. In fact, at Philip's New York winning Icons auction in October, a Rolex Daytona belonging to actor and racing fanatic Paul Newman brought in $15.5 million, making it the most expensive timepiece ever sold at auction. It had a triple date display, pointer date indicator, weekday, and month in window openings. It sold for about SF5 million at Philips in Geneva this past May. Synthetic shortages. When the desired item is unavailable, one reaches the highest level of desirability. Since an early model was seen on the wrist of Hollywood star Paul Newman, the renowned Steel Daytona has been a source of longing for many. About as many models as Rolex anticipates selling are brought into retailers. Long waiting lists are the end outcome. The often fruitless pursuit of the most sought after watch in the world only serves to reinforce the myth around Rolex. Communication and Marketing Hans Wilsdorf, the founder of Rolex, was a marketing whiz. At a time when customer allegiance was to the dealer rather than the manufacturer, he picked a name that was easy to say in a variety of languages and made sure it was printed on the dial. Wilsdorf handed a swimmer who intended to swim the English Channel a Rolex, which she wore around her neck and named his water-resistant watch the Oyster. Magazine advertisements also feature a young actress immersing her wrist and hand in a fishbowl. The marketing strategies used by Rolex are more understated. It highlights its participation in elite sports like tennis, golf, car racing, equestrian sports, and sailing starting in the late 1970s. It is evident that Rolex is a symbol of achievement in sports because it has been the official timekeeper for Wimbledon since 1978, the US Open since 1980, and Formula One since 2013. The Monolith Myth A firm and composed impression is always left by a Rolex. Instead of aiming for a novel and distinctive, the corporation sticks to its tried and true strategies and decides to make constant improvements. The business rarely releases new collections, avoids online sales, and doesn't make complex watches like repeaters or tourbillons. Smart watches and smart features are unimaginable. New technology, like silicone parts in their movements, are developed extremely slowly and employed very sparingly. Customers will find the brand more predictable as a result, and it is also shielded against errors. Every spring, the business introduces new products to Baselworld without much fanfare, while other manufacturers proudly declare world records, have celebrity news conferences, or introduce 70 new goods. Rolex discreetly concentrates on minute details. Even advancements like ceramic bezels, larger cases, better movements, and even a new color are passionately debated and controversial among Rolex enthusiasts. In terms of interpersonal interaction, Rolex frequently comes across as enigmatic and oyster-like, starting with its production facilities for watches in Geneva and movements in Beale which are rarely visible from the inside to customers and journalists, and concluding with the CEO, who typically doesn't do interviews. In conclusion, in conclusion, Rolex's outstanding brand awareness, unwavering dedication to quality, and cutting-edge features designed for daily usage are the reasons behind its supremacy in the luxury watch market. Strategic marketing and the production of artificial scarcity increase demand, while the brand's classic appearance and consistent value retention further contribute to its appeal. Rolex has established a distinguished reputation that appeals to both enthusiasts and casual purchasers by sticking to a conservative and consistent approach to product development, so solidifying its position as the industry leader in luxury watches. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think and what you'd like to see next. Your support helps the channel grow.